Corey from Texas for him, boy. What's going on guys, it's Zombie Snipes here and uh, we're back with another video, a little tutorial video. Um, uh, yesterday I uploaded um, the how-to of how I make my videos and um, I've been looking on my Instagram and Twitter and a lot of you guys have been asking, can you do a video on how you use the thumbnail system? So basically I'm back here today just to show you guys on how to use the thumbnail system on Share Factory. It's not actually that difficult to use. Um, some it can be quite confusing though if you don't understand how to use it. So you know what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna hit up with my last project, which was making of the other video I did yesterday. Um, so if you can see, I got my intro piece, I got my uh, bit of recording, then my whole 30 minutes of recording on how to do the video. So for example, if I wanted to make a um, a video on how to do or a thumbnail for this video for example uh, in my personal opinion I would use um, I would use something like Photoshop or something like that to um, make a proper uh, thumbnail but if you can't get that kind of resources and you want to just use a simple way to do it this is a simple way to do it it's not exactly hard to do so um, let's find ourselves a nice uh, photo to use what you need to do is you need to find yourself a point of the video where you think that uh, it, it looks nice and I could use that as a thumbnail so it's quite complicated on here how to do a thumbnail um, it's 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 very complicated especially when if you if for me I like stuff to be based uh, my thumbnail to be based to do with what's going on in my video so let's just take this for example right here shall we so if I want this for example I would uh, I would first of all uh, probably take a small midge of this area so for example we're gonna go first into split clip and then uh, I'm gonna just take this apart a bit because we don't we don't need all this. So first I'm gonna split clip and we've got a little bit of clip here that we are going to use. I'm not gonna use all of it, but we're gonna use some of it. So what I'm gonna then do is I'm gonna to go to add and I'm gonna add overlays. So with overlays, you got a range of different stuff. You got stickers, uh, you've got uh you got text, uh you got some that's related to the to the um the theme you've chosen so for me it was black ops 3 so therefore i have black ops 3 themed stickers and stuff on here they're pretty damn cool um and then you've also got uh imported images these are images that i've imported uh these were from quite a while ago uh i haven't really imported any more from there um text you've got text you can choose so Let's just go with text for now. So, for example, I just take my text. Uh, for example, in the medium starred one, I would put uh, like like my own thumbnail of my previous video. I'll put how to like this, how to, and then I could press done. I can transparent it. Or oh. yep, yeah. hang on a minute. Optimize transparent, and then you move with your right analog stick by the way I'm not 100% sure how to do this and then uh, you can tilt with the L2 and R2 buttons on your controller and I'm gonna put it like over here or something that'd be cool uh, we can change the color of it so we'll go to color uh, let's give it a nice uh, give it a nice red color or something yeah there we go nice red color and we can leave that there and then what you need to do is just back out and you'll get that stuck there then what you can do is go back in and add another overlay for example for example we could just put like a theme sticker on it or something like this move this about twist it a bit stick it up here or something place it back out add another theme sticker just just play around and see what you want to do with it to be honest it's not um it's not up to you don't have to make it look like um 
look like a piece of art because these the this this type of way of making uh things is not gonna be a piece of art by all means but um yeah so say for example there there is my thing it's not it's not really great uh by all means in my opinion if you're gonna do uh do this first i would take a really nice screenshot of something you like and think it would be nicely related to the video and then use that and insert that through uh, the pl uh, the X button and then press add screenshot and add it in and then edit overlays onto it. Uh, so once you've done this, as you can see, I've got this uh, and now you want to find a perfect point. So for example, at the beginning is fine for me. I, I'm happy with that. What you can then do is press options and then press generate thumbnail. Once you press generate thumbnail, it will say project thumbnail has been saved. Now what you'll realize is uh, now when I press uh, save project and exit out, so uh, save project and exit, you'll see that my last project is showing me my uh, thumbnail. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I've never used the thumbnail system on here properly. But I'm not exactly sure when it comes to uploading to YouTube. I think it does work as um, it sets to that thumbnail. Um, but I'm not so sure about this system. It's not It's not 100% the thing I would use. In my opinion, I would get yourselves uh, Adobe Photoshop or a cracked version of Adobe Photoshop. It doesn't matter how you have it. But I would get Adobe Photoshop and use Adobe Photoshop. And then basically you can just upload it from here onto YouTube and then in that time it's uploading. You could be downstairs on the computer making a thumbnail on Photoshop for it. That's what I do in my opinion. And uh, basically that's that's really, that's all you really need to do. It's, it's not hard by all means. It's a very easy way. I wouldn't exactly say it's the most professional and trustworthy way. But... Um, if you guys don't want to get sticky with like um, like uh, Photoshop and stuff like that, then you don't have to. You can use the Chef Factory system. But in my opinion, I'll get yourself a version of Adobe Photoshop CC or whatever um, and make uh, your thumbnails on there instead of um, instead of doing it through uh, through Chef Factory. Because it is a little bit more complex and it's a little bit different as well. It, it's it's a bit it's a bit hard to understand how it actually works properly. So anyway, guys, this has been the video. I know it's not been a really long video, but this is a quick way on showing you how you could do thumbnails and stuff with Share Factory. Um, of course, by all means. Uh, you can use this, but in my opinion, if you want a proper professional job of a good um, a good thumbnail, I would intend to go over to getting Photoshop or something like Photoshop and make it on Photoshop instead of using this. It's really easy if you if you're wanting to know how you do it from Photoshop. I can't exactly show you how to do that because I don't have a um, recording system on my PC, but um, it's very simple. Once you've done your um, your thumbnail on Photoshop. It's very simple. Just go up to the file, go to export, export it as a PNG. Um, and then what you can do is then find the file of where that, um, where that, uh, thumbnail is, uh, go onto your YouTube, go to your creative studios, go to your, um, uploaded video. That's just literally been uploaded. Go to edit, go to change thumbnail, change the thumbnail to what you want it and then press save and then you're done it doesn't you don't have to worry with this i'm not so sure i think as soon as you upload it 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 saves the thumbnail as being whatever you've saved the thumbnail as so it is kind of good i must admit but to me if you want a proper professional looking thumbnail it's going to be photoshop so anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh, again i know this has been a short video hopefully uh, over the weekend, I'll get some proper videos up for you guys and you guys will enjoy some awesome content I'm going to be able to get to you. Hopefully, there's going to be some Black Ops 3 zombies, uh, so possibly some Minecraft PvP because we've not tried that for a while. And possibly some Dying Light again because I want to go back to that game because it's an amazing game. And it is 
after all, it is the best zombies game of 2016 or something like that. It is truly amazing. If you haven't got it already, I would go and get it because it is really, really good. And um, as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.